Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today I'm going to talk about sections and articles. Let's get started, shall we? Let's have a look at the sections and articles project that I've made. Now, beyond the starter template, I've got a body tag, which has a header, and of course some navigation content would go in the header. And then I have some main content, and again, main content would go in there. And at the very bottom, I have a footer. So now normally sections and articles would follow after the main of a document. So let's go ahead and work on that today. I'll start by talking a little bit about articles. Now an article element is used as a container to bunch together content that could stand alone on a page. Examples of these are a blog entry or a comment or individual article. A web page may consist of several different articles that are each enclosed in their own article tag, such as the following. So let's start by creating our first article tag. And we simply write article in an opening and closing tag. And let's insert a P tag in here. We could even have a heading in here if we liked. So I'll just say topic one and let's say lorem 20. So that would be our first article that would have one particular topic in it. Then I could have another article that would have another topic within it. So let's say topic two or in 10. So articles are basically little containers that contain or bunch together content that would normally be standalone content. So some kind of topic that's self-contained. A section is a little different. Sections and articles were introduced in HTML5 to make for more meaningful HTML markup. And the section element is used to group together any content that is related. So sections usually have their own heading and sections can have articles within them. So let's practice having a section. So we'd have an opening and closing section tag. And since they usually have headings, I'm going to put an H2 heading in here, my first section. And let's have a P tag, which may have some lorem ipsum. We may have another paragraph tag, some more lorem ipsum. So that would be representation of a section. So here we have our article, and here we have our first section. Since section tags group related items together, one section can contain many article tags within it if they have a common idea. So let's put that into practice. So I'll have a section tag and within it, let's have an H2. So I'll have a section two with articles of similar topics within it. So now I can go ahead and directly nest an article tag within this. And now I'd have to have an H3 in here. So first, article with a common topic. So I could have a P tag in there, perhaps another P tag. And once that article is over, I can move on to a second article. So as you can see, I have two articles nested within a section. So I could have five or six or as many articles as I liked, as long as they had some similar topics. So this would be my second article with a common topic. And let's place some lorem ipsum in there. And there you have it. So here we have our second section, which contains two articles within it. So there's our first article and our second article. And then lastly, we would have some footer content before the ending of the page. I hope you've learned something new today and are enjoying these videos. If you are, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with new videos. Until next week, keep on coding.